In this video, we shall estimate mu and sigma square by method of moments from the normal distribution. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. Solution. Since we are estimating two parameters here, we will have mu1 to be equal to m11. That means the population mean the for, for the first moment will be equal to the sample mean for the first moment. Also, we we'll also have 1 to m12. That means the population mean for the second moment will be equal to the sample mean for the second moment. First, we'll take that of the first moment. The first moment. For the first moment, mu11 one one is equal to the expected value of x, which is equal to, this is our mean, the expected value of m is mu. Also, for the sample mean, for the first moment, we have 1 all over n, summation of xi, as i running from 1 to n, to be equal to x bar. We take this as our equation 1, and this as our equation 2. So to get the solution for the method of moments, we have to combine these two equations to get this. So we have, if we combine these two equations, we get our population mean estimates to be equal to x bar, which is our sample mean. Then, for the second moment, for the second moment, we have mu 1, 2 to be equal to the expected value of x squared which is equal to we don't know but we have to find it also for the sample mean we have it as 1 all over n summation of x i squared as i running from 1 to n we know this but we don't know this so how do we obtain this we we'll obtain this by saying the variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x all squared. Of course, we see that the expected value of x squared is the same thing as this, expected value of x squared. So we we'll make this the subject of the formula. We move over to this side of the board. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. So, if we make the expected value of x squared the subject of formula, we we'll get the variance of x plus the expected value of x all squared. Of course, if we substitute the variance, we know that our variance of x is x squared because we said x follows the normal distribution of mean and variance sigma squared. Plus, we have our expected value of x which we have looked for, which is mean. The expected value of x is mean. So we put our square. It then means that our expected value of x squared is equal to sigma squared plus mu squared. So we come over to this side, we put it here as sigma squared plus mu squared. We take this as our equation 1 again, and this as our equation 2. So for the second moment, we equate equating equation 1 and equation 2. If we equate both of them, we have sigma squared plus mu squared is equal to 1 all over n summation of xi as i running from 1 to n. Then we have this here. We should note that 
if mu is equal to x bar, it then means that mu squared is equal to x bar squared. I will have to write this out. Also, for me to obtain the second moment, we move over to this other side of the board. So, we come here, we move over to this side. Of course, we should remember that mu estimate for the first moment is equal to x bar. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. So, what I mean is that mu is equal to x bar, it then means that mu square is equal to x bar squared. So we can write this properly. It will be z bar squared plus x bar squared will be equal to 1 all over n summation of x i squared minus summation of x i squared. So z bar squared will be equal to this can go over to this side to so give us 1 all over n summation of x i squared minus x bar squared. Sigma squared is still equal to 1 all over n summation of x i minus x bar all squared as i running from 1 to n, i running from 1 to n. So if you square both sides of the equation, you get this as our estimate to be equal to square root of summation of x i minus x bar all squared all over n as i running from 1 to n. So it then means that our variance is equal to this, which is for the second moment and the first moment is equal to this. So this is how you can obtain the method of moment estimation for the normal distribution if we are estimating the mean and also the variance. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel.